Pastors are expected to lead with integrity, but what happens when they break the law? Here are four times when corrupt pastors got arrested by cops. Samuel Bateman, what's your date of birth? Let's run. Okay. What is your date of birth, sir? I'm not going to say it. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Let's not do this right now, huh? You are being detained until you identify yourself. Do I have to tell my name? Yes, you have to identify yourself. You are being detained for a crime. We're still putting you in handcuffs, so sit tight. This is Samuel Bateman, a corrupt pastor who claims to be a prophet and is a leader of the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints. On August 28, 2022, officers from the Coconino County Sheriff's Office responded to an alleged call regarding the trailer Mr. Bateman was towing that day. The cops arrived at the scene and started to investigate what was inside the trailer. Watch what the cops find out. Come over here, please. I'm, I'm going to get that knife off you, sir, okay? Any other weapons on you? No. Okay. Come over here, please. Nothing else on you? Phones? Um, What's that reaching your pockets? What's your name, What's sir? That? What's that? What's your name, sir? Samuel. Samuel? No, what are you saying about pockets? Do you have any other weapons on you? Mm. Please don't reach in your pockets. Just let me... We're out here because there is supposed to be people back there. How many other people in the truck? How many other people are in the truck? Well, I just want to know who's inside the truck right now, so that way I know who else we're dealing with here. Or else I'm going to call everybody out. As you can see, it's a pretty serious deal here, sir. Samuel what? Do I have to tell you my name? I'm asking for your name. Yeah, I don't have to tell you, right? Sir. Yes, sir. What is your name? Samuel. Samuel what? Is he the driver? Yeah. Okay, you have to identify yourself. You understand that, right? I don't know. I just want to, yeah, Samuel Bateman. Samuel Bateman? I don't understand. But what are you doing? We're trying to Samuel, make sure. I, people... I just got here. Explain to me what's going on. I'm back. I'm fine. You're being videoed. Just in case we're. Yeah, yeah that's fine. You're being videoed as well. Yeah. Okay. Um. Stuff. Stuff. <laughs> Samuel Bateman, what's your date of birth? What's wrong? What is your date of birth, sir? I'm looking for you. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Turn up on your back. Put your hands behind 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 your back. Let's not do this right now, huh? You are being detained until you identify yourself. Bateman was detained momentarily after his suspicious and non-cooperative behavior with the cops. Watch what the cops are about to discover. Do I have to tell my name? Yes, you have to identify yourself. You are being detained for a crime. We're still putting you in handcuffs, so sit tight. Don't do that. Can I ask you why this is such a big deal? Everyone's buckled in, and in Arizona, then you can Move be that in back, the back Sarge. of a vehicle without a license, without a we're just going to identify you, figure out what's going on, and we'll go from there. The reason I'm detaining you is because you failed to identify yourself when I asked. Okay? I did. I said Samuel Bateman. Yeah. What about date of birth? 
Why don't you ask me my social security number? A failure to identify when I asked you. But now you have, so we're good. I've identified you. Okay. But but once I've already, once I already say you're detained and I go to put you in handcuffs and you resist like that, that makes me a little nervous. So that's why you're in handcuffs. As soon as we check everything out and you came back, you identified yourself to me. I'll take you out of handcuffs and we'll be all good. Okay. I don't know what DPS has going on with you. We just simply got called as backup units for whatever you have going on with them. Okay. So once I get a chance, I'll go talk to that sergeant. And we'll confer about what's going on here and what we have going on. And I will be more than happy to keep you informed and enlightened about everything that we're doing. Like I said, when I identified my, tried to identify you and you didn't want to identify yourself, I went to detain you. When I went to detain you, you stiffened up on us. Okay, so once we got your handcuffs and everything settled down, that's where we're at right now. But I can't take you out of handcuffs. So I go over there and talk to that sergeant and see what we have going on here and if we have charges or what's going on. If he says we're all good, we can be taken out of handcuffs. So we'll walk right back over here and do that, okay? this left one, okay, Sam? What I'm looking at, after discussing that with that sergeant, so... I'm all just saying right now, I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Go ahead, let's see. Here, if you want to come stand up really quick this way, put your right foot in first. Just so you know, we're investigating a child endangerment. This is the police! We're going to be opening the door! I want your hands empty and above your head! If you do not, you will suffer the consequences! Again, this is the police! Okay. Pull down, pull down the handle. Other door open. There's there was a, hands sticking out of the top of the trailer. Okay. There's, a There's hands sticking out of the top of the trailer earlier. Let's see them. Let's see your hands. The cops initially discover a hand sticking out of the trailer. Subsequently, after the trailer was opened, underage or minor girls were found inside that Mr. Bateman was towing. He had allegedly been trafficking minor girls by kidnapping them. Watch how the encounter ends. Behind the curtain. Okay, keep your hands up for me. Go and walk out towards me, okay? Try not to slip, all right? Just keep walking. Is there anybody else inside the trailer? No? Perfect. Thank you, guys.
to? Oh. You don't know her. No, I was just wondering if you knew her. I figured you guys were all tightly knit. I just didn't know the actual dynamics of the, the family unit here. Has, has someone explained to you guys our concerns and yeah. why you guys... So, someone called in and said they saw kids coming in and out of a trailer. That in by itself, kind of dangerous, right? Driving down the road with kids in the trailer and then somebody else, one of the aides, saw fingers poking out of the trailer. So, yeah, now... I get that, but the concern for the danger of people in the car. Now you got to realize, in the whole country, we have you know smuggling of kids, smuggling of immigrants, smuggling of all types of stuff, right? So extremely suspicious activity. So when we go to stop, you guys, and then um, I don't know what is he to you guys? Is he anybody's actual father? Yeah. Yeah, the one in the car. Yeah. He, he's somebody's father. So whoever father is he comes out comes over um then it starts refusing to identify himself while we're trying to conduct a traffic stop so things are starting to escalate until we know exactly what's going on now we have the dilemma of you know is there a probable cause for any type of arrest on him for any of the activities that was going on here and then we have i think you guys are over 18 you just know one of you you are both of you so we have two adults and then we have several kids so now we got to decide are we just gonna let him out of the car? You guys all jump in and go on your merry way? Or are we having to call parents to try to figure out how we're gonna get him somewhere? So that's what's taking so long is trying to figure out these these circumstances. So you have uh, DPS, who's the main investigator here, and then you have county because that's who got the call originally, and then you have PD because it, you guys are here in the city. So that's why we all showed up, and it sounded a lot more serious to begin with. Then once we de-escalate de everything, we start talking to people, we start getting information, we start figuring stuff out. And that's where we're at right now. So DPS, who's handling the investigation, is making their phone calls to try to decide what the outcome of this is going to be. And that's where we stand right now. Okay, it makes sense because we're so used to, I mean, even where we live, and we're constantly having calls. Right so this has nothing to do with you guys, your religion, your beliefs, anything of that nature. It all has to do with the fact that kids are in and out of a trailer. Coming from, from like, like us being here in Flagstaff, Arizona, yeah. like, where but we live, we didn't understand. Then, like, that's why we were so like, where we live, and they're always surveying yeah. anyway. So that's why we were kind of like. But until we get information, it's hard for us to give you guys back information, right? Mm -hmm. So until we have a couple, few conversations with with the kids, and then it doesn't help that whoever's father that is absolutely doesn't want to talk to us at all. So that even eliminates more of like, where are you going? Where are you coming from? Like, are we all allowed to be in the same car? Like what's going on here so again like i said nothing to do with your beliefs your religion anything of that nature it all has to do with the suspicious nature of what was going on and then when we do open doors and kids start popping out of trailers we're like okay what do we have going on here so again it may be common practice where you guys are from that's not common practice in Flagstaff. mr bateman was arrested and charged with obstructing a federal investigation and kidnapping mr bateman has 20 wives and several of them are minor Instead of being charged with sex trafficking and polygamy, he is charged with charges mentioned before on both state and federal levels. If you think this was the maximum a pastor can go corrupt, wait until you watch this next case. Is that your vehicle? No. It's not? It's the neighbor's vehicle. The neighbor's? Okay. Yeah, like you live here? No, I don't live here. Okay. Uh, they're saying that this vehicle is not supposed to be here and you're not supposed to be Who's here. Who's saying that? They called about it. I don't know who I, called. I'm supposed to be here. I'm Pastor Jennings. I live across the street. This is Michael Jennings, a pastor of Abundant Life Church, Alabama. On May 22nd, 2022, Mr. Jennings was out watering his neighbor's flowers when officers from the Childersburg Police Department observed him. Officer Jay Gable, Officer Chris Smith, and Sergeant Jeremy Brooks allegedly responded to a call when another neighbor reported that a black male was around the house in an SUV while the owners were away from their residence. Watch how the encounter unfolds when the officers discover Mr. Jennings near his neighbor's house. Howdy. Hey man, how's it going? Pretty good. What you doing here, man? Water flower. Are they saying that? Is that your vehicle? 
If it's not? It's the neighbor's vehicle. The neighbor's? 314, I'll be on 13. Okay. You live here? No, I don't live here. Okay. Uh, they saying that this vehicle is not supposed to be here and you're not supposed to be Who's here? Who's saying it? They called about it. I don't know who I, called. I, I'm supposed to be here. I'm Pastor Jennings. I live across the street. You're Pastor Jennings? Yes, I'm looking out for their house while they're gone. Okay. Uh, Why didn't they fly? Okay. Well, that's cool. Do you have like ID? And I don't all? know, man. I'm not going to give you no ID. Why not? I ain't did nothing wrong. And did well, you, look, listen. Listen, I'm not saying do nothing wrong. Doc, listen, There's a suspicious I person. Like, look, I used to be a police officer in good water. Don't come here with that. Okay. Look, man, don't do this to me. No. You, there's a suspicious person in the yard, and if you're not one to identify yourself... I don't have to identify myself. I'm just not a... I stop and identify state. That the, guy know me. He can't do my story that got broke in. I live right over there across the street. Who called y'all? That's what we got to figure out. But yeah, first, who I... Called? He, he don't live here. Neighbor, you think I'm, I'm here not saying nothing legal. about You have no right call. to approach me if I ain't did nothing Hold suspicious on. or nothing wrong. Listen. Told him I'm a pastor. Listen. I pastor until I don't want to hear you. You want to lock me up? Lock me up. Nobody wants to lock, lock me up. I'm not showing y'all anything. I'm going to continue what? with all these flowers. I don't care who called y'all. Lock me up and see what happens. I want you to. Mr. Jennings was detained by the cops since he refused to identify himself. Refusal to identify is well within the rights of the citizens. According to the Fifth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, citizens have a right to refuse identification to law enforcement if they suspect that they might incriminate them unreasonably. Watch how the encounter unravels. Hey man, just come here and talk to us. I'm what? What? what these back flowers what I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right, well, if you would let us talk to you, we could figure stuff out. You know, you're, you're going to catch an obstruction charge if you keep walking away. You can do whatever you want. Do it. Do it. We're, we're just trying to talk to you, man. Come here. 313, 3, 3, 4, We got one that's not listening to us. Look, man, let me see your phone. Let me see your phone, dude. Just calm down, okay? No, no. Stop. I like this. Okay. We're just trying to talk to you and Sir, see. I don't, I'm not, I don't want to argue with you, okay? I don't, All right, yeah. go ahead and do what you got to do, Doc. You you do what you got to do. Go on okay. and lock me up. Look, just have a seat. It's already locked up. You're it's just. It's already locked up, Doc. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Just have a seat, okay? Okay. 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 Already locked up. Already locked up. 313, show us. 1026-1 black man. Sit sit down. Sit down, man. Okay, let me call my wife. You're not calling nobody. My son just got racially profiled in. Michigan, he's got his master's degree. He's an athletic director. Three police profiler came in. I was ex police officer from Good One. I told you I'm a pastor. Okay, look, man. I, uh, who called y'all? I don't have you. that idea. Myself. You will not I listen. listen. I have a call on you. I, you have to identify yourself to me. I you don't. understand what no, I'm telling don't. you? No, I don't. You wait to watch how you want. Take me down, book me. Go do what you need to do. Go do what you need to do. I think it's going to be. Please this. call my wife right quick. We're going to wait off. All right. Well, y'all sit with him, Jeremy. I'm going to go over here because it's six people over here to call. Three thirteen. Can you have the 72 that calls? Step out and talk to her. You know what? 10-15. 10-15. 10-15. I ain't, I ain't gonna sit there and have that, dude. Will you, will you let my wife no, you ain't letting nothing now. Appreciate it. Okay, I will. 3-13. You show me 10-15-1 black now. Do you know that gentleman? Back yeah. Here? You do? Yeah. Does he, does he have from... He lives right there. Okay, does he have permission here to be watering flowers? He may because um, they are friends. Okay. And they went out of town today, so right. he may be watering their flowers. Okay. It'd be completely normal. Okay, is fine. that that's he, that's he, fine. If he would have said, "Hey, I got this," gave his identification because he's a suspicious person, uh, he said that's not his vehicle; it's, it's their vehicle. Okay. We have a call. Like, yeah. we, we're we're here okay. because we're called here. I don't know who called, but somebody did. Did you call us? Three thirteen. Mr. Rory Milam of Childersburg, 
on a 2004 Chevy Tahoe, no color listed. Registration is valid till 6:30 of 22, negative 29. Tiffel, you did say the name's Roy Mallon. Tiffel. Tiffel, thanks for mixing. Yeah. Tiffel. Yeah, he lives right there, and he would be watering their flowers. This is probably my fault. <laughs> okay. Do you know who Roy Malum is? That's that's the person who owns that vehicle. Roy Malum. Roy Malum. Ask him who owns the house. I don't know the guy's name. I don't know who owns. It's probably it could be their vehicle. Y'all knew uh, Mr. Uh, What's that about? Miss uh, Sister Connie and uh. What you, what's wrong with you? My cuffs are a little bit tight if y'all don't mind loosening them up. Sure he is. Listen to me, man. Is that better? After arresting Mr. Jennings, the officers discuss among themselves what crime to charge Mr. Jennings with. Gradually, they form a consensus on charging him with obstruction on governmental affairs. Observe how the encounter ends. Go over to his house. Okay. Listen, let, let, let me talk to you. Who is Roy Milam? That's you, ain't it? I'm Michael Jennings, sir. You're Michael Jennings. Who is Roy Milam? I don't know. Okay, that's who that vehicle belongs to. Yeah, that's who all I know his name is Roy. That's who lives here? That's Roy. I call him Roy and I call his wife Connie, and I've been dealing with him for seven years that I've yeah. been living here. They are friends. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you called not because of the car, but because you thought you saw someone besides him. Right. I didn't know it was him. Yeah. He, I got to keep their flowers watered. I got to keep their flowers watered while they're down. You okay? <laughs> and by the way, I want to get to come to the graduation. But we're gonna give you sign something. No, don't. Listen, yeah. Listen, listen, do listen, listen, listen to me, man. Listen. To me. Anytime the police come you. out and they say bring it, we want to identify you, you have to Double. identify yourself because there's a Double. reasonable Double. suspicion. There's a reasonable man. There's that a vehicle. A there, there's a reasonable suspicion that you're here. It's not a crime. Yeah, if, you, if you would have said, yeah, here's my name, here's everything, no, we were like, I okay. I told him my name. You didn't tell me your name. I, I decided, he asked me who I was. I said, you didn't give it to me when I first Pastor asked Pastor Jennings, Pastor Jennings. That's not a name. Well, was That's a pastor. Yeah. I need your name. The way y'all handle this situation, we're totally wrong. Well, listen. You, you racial profile. We're not racial profile. Yes, no, sir. No, sir. We're not about I that. I told okay? you I was here wanting to fly. But How do I know that's the truth? Anybody? Can, I had the water hose in my hand. I was anybody, wanting to fly. Any, anybody can pick a hose pipe up. He is going to be so pissed when I tell him I got arrested. One of his flowers. Seven years well, look, we've been look, friends. We, we got that. Look, let's sit back in here. You got it. You can sit down. Give me so we can get this going on the ball. All right. What is your uh, social? I'm not going to give him a social. You need to give him your social. I'll give you Pastor. my name. That's all I'm going to give you. You're not going to run no 27 and 28 on me and get me in the system for no reason. All right, what's your name? The girl already told you who I am. Okay, yes, I'm Michael yes. Jennings. That's all you're Michael Jennings. Michael Jennings. Spell your first name. M-I-C-H-A-E-L. A-E-L. That's it. Jennings. J-E-N-N. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I-N-G-S. G-S. What's your date of birth? 11766. 11766. All right. Sit in the car for me. Yes, sir. We'll handle this in just a second. Can you give me a can let the one that's hot? Yeah. Will you let the window down a little bit for him? Mr. Jennings was charged with obstructing governmental affairs and was consequently taken to jail following the encounter. However, several days later, the charges against Mr. Jennings were dropped. Mr. Jennings intends to file a federal lawsuit against the officers involved. The proceedings of this case are unknown. If you think this was the only pastor who got arrested by the cops, then probably you aren't aware of this next case. Well, what happened that got us called here? She was hitting, she hit, she hit this young lady here. She assaulted this young lady in the dress here. Over there? Yeah, okay. she assaulted this, our security, you know, he watches in the, the red? cars. Yeah, she hit him too. Okay. That's what got you guys called. This is David Bullock, a pastor at Highland Park. On June 24th, 2018, officers from the Highland Park Police Department responded to a call regarding an assault that took place earlier that day. The officers start to investigate women and people present around the scene to decipher the case and its probable causes. However, at the same instance, they cross pathways with Mr. Bullock during their interrogation. Watch how the pastors react to the police officers. I don't know. I don't even know what what we got called here for. Cause before I could get to that, she started fighting. So yes, that she might be mentally challenged. Does she work here? No, she's at this church down here. Uh huh. Walked around the corner. He's actually a family member. This, this is her cousin. But he's telling me. Well, what happened that got us called here? She was hitting. She hitting. She hit this young lady here. She assaulted this young lady in the dress here. Over there. 
Okay. You know, assaulted this mm -hmm. our secured. You know, he watches the red. cars. Yeah, she hit him too. Okay. That's what got you guys called. Yeah, but we're not. We're not in the business of fixing mental problems. We no, have to no, uphold the law, so anyway. we'll run her. She's got a mental order, whatever. It'll it'll get itself worked out. It, was it one of you guys that had an altercation with her? Yes. What, what happened? Do you know her first of all? No, we're from Virginia. They're from okay. Montana. Okay. Here so what happened, huh? So um, I was taking a picture uh, of both of them, but I heard her coming. But I mean, I was going to move out the way because. She was like saying all these, where she was cussing and stuff, and mm -hmm. like I was going to move out the way, but like before I had the chance, she had swung at me and with her fist. Um, flat, 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 slapped yeah. you. And then, um, then like I had looked up, and then she was like, Carrie Foster, she was just like looking. Reverend like, Foster's ride. Just mad and upset, and then like I didn't know what just Reverend happened, Foster. and I was like confused. And then, um, Reverend like, Foster. Uh, she, everybody was like, uh, trying to calm her down and like trying to like see what was happening, what was happening. And she looked like she wanted to bite me. And uh, but I, and they were just saying that like I'm just like kid, a kid, and like I'm just like. Did she other than? The smack on the head was that the only assault? Is that the only thing she did? Yeah. I'm not downplaying. I'm just saying because then after that it sounds like everyone kind of was gathering around or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So. Um. She's got some issues. I don't know what her deal is. She's obviously going to jail. Um. Are you mom? Yes. Okay. Can I see your ID and you? How old are you, hun? Thirteen. Thirteen. So you don't have a driver's license. What's your first name? What is your date of birth? And you live with mom? Good, yeah. She lives with you? Well, the address is on your license. Is that a good address for her? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, wait, did she give you the address? Not yet. Is that what's on your license? Yes. Okay, I'll just copy it down. What's all this for? What's all this for? What's all what for? This information. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm asking. I mean, what do you mean? She, she was assaulted by this lady. Wouldn't you think that if I complete a police report, whoa, I would put the victim whoa, 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 in there? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, just ask. I can have the right to ask. You have the right to ask, but you're also interfering with my investigation, so I'm going to ask you to step no, aside now, please. I'm not going I don't, anywhere. You're going to step aside, because no. I'm trying to get an, no. an interview here, and you're interfering with that. No, then you're going to be arrested. The officer informs Bullock that he is interfering with the investigation as the officer questions the women about the incident. The officer then tells Bullock that he will be arrested if he does not leave the area. Watch how Mr. Bullock responds to the situation. Arrest me. Okay. Sarge? You really need to come to all this? I asked, what was that for? They're from out of town. They're guests of the Yeah, church. and I'm taking this care of it. I just asked. And you're, you're interfering for? with me I'm talking to these people you're, right you're, now. You're, do we have to? Yeah, really. We don't want to press charges. Right. Yeah, but I still have to. Will you stop? Same to I'm trying to talk to them and see what happened and get are, this are figured you out. Ready to hit me or something? Yeah, I'm ready to hit you. Well, I mean, you're really aggressive. I'm pointing. I need you to step back. You don't like it? If you keep resisting, you're going to go to jail. I need you to stay on this side of the street. You're not welcome over here while I'm doing my investigation. I understand that you don't want to press charges, but I still have to put it down because she's getting charges pressed against her. Thank you. 
Okay. Mr. Bullock was arrested and was immediately put into the cop cruiser. It remains uncertain what charges were filed against Mr. Bullock and for how long he was arrested. Mr. Bullock believes that this was racial profiling done against him and there was no basis for the cops to arrest him. If you think this was the last pastor who got arrested by police, then probably you haven't watched this next case. Is it, is it a crime for him to get right up on my ear and yell? No. Is that a crime? No, I'm asking you. No. I'm asking. Who, 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 can give you the answer right now, sir. Yeah. No, can he can he can he put his mouth right in my ear and yell? Was it on your ear? Anyway, he can I was pretty far away. Not even the cops want to listen to you. <laughs> this is Ross a preacher at the University of Georgia. On October 13th, 2016, Mr. Ross and several other individuals were the center of attention at the campus of the University of Georgia when Mr. Ross was indulged in preaching the religious teachings from the gospel. As he tries to avoid some banter with two white individuals present inside the circle made by the people around, he eventually gets more into it. Watch how the interaction unfolds between them. You got saved? I realized you didn't get saved? that the Jay-Z music was of the you? devil. Oh my God, Jay-Z makes some pretty awesome I stopped, don't when I got saved, I stopped oh, listening to, Jay, don't yell in my ear please. No, I will. All right, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, don't yell in my ear, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I have nowhere to be, I will yell at you. No, 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 you can, no, 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 you can. All day long. Keep doing what you're doing. Is it, a, is it a crime for him to get right up on my ear and yell? How's that a crime? I'm asking you. As the banter continues, it eventually turns into harassing and abusive remarks, and the situation tends to escalate quickly. Watch what happens when the cops also join in the crowd while Mr. Ross films the interaction. No. I'm asking. Who, 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 was it on your ear? Anyway, he can... I was pretty far away. There we go. Not even the cops want to listen to you. <laughs> Mr. Ross complained to the cops regarding the behavior of the other two white individuals. However, the cops don't take his complaint much into account and is shrugged off with disrespect. Watch how the situation is about to escalate. So, you see, cops. you... Back up! No! Pervert! No! Punk. Back no. up! No. Back no. up! Get out of my we face! Back up! No! Back up! No! Get out of my face! This is my... You're, you're, you're nothing but a punk! I don't you're care! You're nothing but a sissy! I will stand here! Pervert! I will stand my ground! On my pervert! You're pivot. just a pervert, that's all! Jay, right? that's what you're just a pervert! I don't care! Back up, pervert! I don't care! Back up, you're nothing but a punk! That's what you are! I will not back up! You're a sissy! I will stand my ground! You're a sissy going straight to hell! I don't care! Sissy going straight to hell! You're not gonna kiss you! You're a little punk! You're so soft! I'm pretty hard! No! I'm hard! Look at him looking at that fire mask! Trying to be a man! Right there! It's looking pretty nice! Brother Ross is what you call a real Christian. You're standing on my campus. I am a real man. That's what I am. You're not a real man at all, sir. I'm a real man. So I want to see. I want to see if I've been doing. I want to see if I've been doing anything good. Do you know where you're going to hell? Nobody here is going to hell. I'm gonna give you a hint. I'm gonna give you a hint. You ready? Three letter words that start with S. Maxine. No, perverts, wrong. Hey, do me a favor. Bend over. Bend down. No, bend down. Down, not over, down. Reach down to the gutter. Take your mind out of the gutter. You're not doing it right. You gotta take it out. Out, out, out. Yeah, she's making fun of you. Cause it's easy. And you will give her You need to get some new moves. She has some new moves. I'm like you stuck in 1993. So, Catholics, Catholics are going to... 
over your ass. Catholics, all day long. Catholics are gonna be all in hell with Mother here. Teresa. All day. And I, Mother there Teresa. Mother, okay. Sorry. Mother Teresa Buddhist, is a real saint. Buddhist. Not like your ass. Buddhists are gonna be in hell no, with Gandhi. I'm gonna stand there. Gandhi was Hindu, you dumbass. <laughs> Gandhi was a Hindu. All you racists are gonna be in hell with uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And you sexist, you're going to hell. That's right. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. split hell wide open. Martin Luther King Jr. He, hey, maybe you should say his full name. Reverend you guys, Dr. Martin Luther hey, King. And you guys, Reverend, unlike your ass, and you guys are very close to church. I will yell at you. You need a your you need a breath mint. I do, and I hope it yeah, smells. Yeah, Out of my face, please. Out of my face. As the discriminatory remarks continue from both ends, the cops finally intervene and arrest Mr. Ross. However, according to the First Amendment, the law grants citizens with freedom of speech. Despite this, Mr. Ross was arrested. The proceedings of this encounter remain unknown. It's traumatizing to see corrupt pastors getting arrested for their ill doings. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. Goodbye.